What's up? Welcome back to Ask Dan Anything. Got a quick little one about dating here for you. About the best approach mindset and lifestyle wise to take to dating to make it work for you. So here's the question I got sent through. Let me just have a look here. From one of the Brojo peeps. It says, do you believe that if I make improvements to my way of life in general, social and physical mental spheres, that my dating life will just pick up by itself? Now, a bit of background, uh, this guy's been sort of working hard and struggling a bit in the dating space for quite some time now. And I've seen this quite commonly. People try to date for a long, long time and just find it a constant struggle, constant hassle. They're either dating a lot, but it's really low quality, or they're struggling to just get a date. And I'll talk a bit about why this happens. I can say this with absolute certainty. The worst thing to focus on for dating is dating. The worst kind of focal point you can have when it comes to looking for a partner is trying to find a partner. Okay, it brings out your neediness, it disconnects you from people. You stop seeing them as humans, but you see them as potential instead, as resources. It makes you very judgmental about people. They're either good or bad for the goal that you're going for. Your confidence fluctuates with rejections and acceptance. You're going up and down on validation. And there's a lot of imbalance. People often become obsessed with their dating life. It's all they can think about, talk about. Everything else is just waiting until they can get the next date, so to speak. So basically, it just it puts you in the least likely to succeed mindset, ironically, with the most focus. I saw a great quote on the internet the other day. I think it was from the author Neil Strauss. He says, Instead of trying to find a person of value to love you, focus on becoming a person of value that you could love. Words to that effect. And ultimately, this is what changed my life. When I committed, instead of trying to find a partner into trying to develop myself into someone that I could be proud of and someone that I would love, uh, my dating life flourished. And what this means in practical terms is creating a fun, fulfilling, challenging, self-development self style lifestyle where you're building yourself into a person you love. You're trying to overcome your fears. You're trying to develop your strengths and, and work around your weaknesses. You're building skills. You're building events and hobbies and patterns into your life that makes being single awesome, essentially. Now, if you want to make this practical to help your dating life, you can just add a twist of making this as social as possible. I talk about this a lot. So if you're going to say, work on your body, do so in some sort of group sports rather than by yourself at home. If you like to read books, join a book club and share your experiences with others. If you're working on courage, find a friend to go face social situations that require courage. So you're constantly meeting people while you're doing this, but your primary purpose is not to meet people. So you've given yourself as much opportunity as possible to meet similar-minded people, rather than the kind of low-quality people you find on Tinder and online dating and stuff like that, you're going to find people who are into self-development, doing interesting stuff with their life, because you're into self-development and you're doing interesting stuff with your life. And it'll be easy to connect with those people, and you won't have to try to find people. They'll come to you naturally. That's my experience. I hope that helps. I've really got to emphasize the key point. If you focus on dating, you're going to struggle with dating. Okay. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more tips or support us through Patreon below and I'll see you all for the next one. Cheers.